Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I want to do my top concealers because it's like around that time of the year where everyone's going out more, it's almost summertime, and you try and conceal some things. So I wanted to give you some suggestions. Uh, three out of the five are drugstore, so you do have your options. So I'm just gonna get started. So the first one I have here is the CoverGirl Ready Set Girl Gorgeous, and I have it in medium. Now this, oh, just took the bottom off. So this one in particular, I use to spot conceal. So anywhere I have a blemish that is red or a acne scar or just a scar in general, I use this to cover it up. I love this because it's almost full coverage, at least I think so, and it definitely hides what I need to hide. I just dab it on the areas, blend it in with my beauty blender on my finger, I know that's not good, but, and it's gone. It's like it never was there so this is a really great concealer to spot conceal I don't know about highlighting because I've never uh, covered my um, dark circles or anything like that but I used this to spot conceal and I figured why not tell you guys uh, I get it from Harman's I got it when it first came out I did the I did a review on it or uh, get ready with me something like that uh, first impression somewhere along that lines for this and I really loved it, and I think it's like maybe $6, $7.99. I'm not really 100% sure, but you can get it at Harman's cheaper than like CBS or Walgreens, so pick it up if you need some spot concealing. Another one I have is the Maybelline Age Rewind um, er Eraser Dark Circles. I have in the shade Light. I use this for under my eyes now. Some people get skeeved by this, but it has like the smushy top. You can peel it off. I've seen people rip it off, but I just use it. Um, I use this for my dark circles. I use this like when I want light coverage, but not extremely light, if that makes sense. If I need it to be covered up, but I'm not looking for like a full coverage thing because I'm not doing a full face of makeup. And all you have to do is twist the top and it comes out of the ball and I put it on and I blend it in with the beauty blender and I'm good to go. Um, I have it in light. I'm not sure if I say that. I also use this to highlight. Very light highlight. Like, not, not light like bright. More like, I don't want to be in your face. I highlight it under my eyes. You know what I mean? So that's what I use this for. And you also can get this from Harman's for $6.99, I think. So. Another one is also from Maybelline. It is the Fit Me Concealer in Sand number 20. This is more, to me personally, lighter coverage. So this is what I do when I'm not highlighting anything under my eyes and I'm just trying to hide my dark circles real quick. So I put this on. This has a doe foot applicator. So it's like that. So does the Ready Set Gorgeous if that makes a difference to you guys. Uh, makes a difference to you guys but, um, that's what I use this for to just hide my dark circles. The coverage isn't like crazy heavy personally. I don't know, you know, other people's opinion, but I don't think it's fully coverage. I just, you know, when I have BB cream on and my dark circles are just a little too dark for me, that's when I put this on. Also buy it from Armin, $6.99 I think. Another one I have, which is from Sephora, is the NARS Creamy Concealer. What is this actually called? Radiant Creamy Concealer in Medium 1 Custard. This is full coverage, thick and creamy. There's no other way to put it. Now, I use this when I'm doing my full face of makeup, when I have a primer on, when I have a foundation, like a full coverage or medium to full coverage uh, foundation, you know, full on eyeshadow, blush, highlighter, contour, all that good stuff. That's when I use this guy. I use it to cover my dark circles only. That's what I choose to do because I feel like when I put it on places that need to be covered, it gets a little cakey in those areas. I don't know if anyone else has that issue, but that's what happens to me. This you buy from Sephora. It's probably in the $20 to $30 range. I'm not sure offhand, but I love this concealer. They have a wide range of colors, so uh, if you're like debating on getting this, I suggest that you do. It's a good investment. It's a great product. I just don't use it as often as I should since it is a pricey product, but I would pick it up. And the last thing is not a concealer, but it's what I use to set my concealers. I have the Anastasia uh, Contour like Powder in Banana. Now I only have the individual shad um, uh, 
like thing, uh, contour, whatever you want to call it, because I got it from iMats and I don't need the contour kit. So I just bought Banana. I love this. I think it sets my concealer great. I use this to set all my concealers. All of them. This is, I think I have this uh, setting and I have one other setting powder for under my eyes. But this is the one that I use. I don't even use the other one that I got. I think my mom got it for me for Christmas too. And uh, I love this. It doesn't make my skin yellow, but I have heard that some people put it on and makes them like yellow under the eyes. I don't have a problem with that. So my suggestion to you, if you're looking to invest in a setting powder, I would start with this one. It's lasted me a really long time. Whenever I wear concealers, when I put this on, I got it at iMats 2015. 2015, yeah. And uh, I love it. I should have gotten a backup one, but I didn't. But I love this. You can get it in the contour palette from Anastasia from Sephora. So, or Ulta I think has it as well. But uh, I love this. It's my favorite setting uh, under eye setting powder. But other than that, guys, those are all of my favorite concealer slash setting powder. Um, I want to share this with you so you can... If you're debating and getting something, now you have a little bit of background on some things. But other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Till next time, guys. Bye.